If you have many digital photos, you may need a way to organize them. Picasa, a free program from Google, may be just what you're looking for. It has some great features for viewing, organizing, and even editing the images on your hard drive. To use Picasa, you first need to download it. It's available from picasa.google.com. After you download and install it, you can choose to have Picasa look on your hard drive for image files and import them. It's important to note that Picasa will not move the images on your hard drive. They will remain in their original location. Picasa simply finds them and displays the images in one convenient interface. You've downloaded and installed Picasa. Now you'd like to explore the different ways you can import your digital images into the program. When you install Picasa, it asks you where you'd like to look for pictures on your computer so you can see them in Picasa. But once you add folders to Picasa, you can adjust these settings and import new photos in several different ways. First, we'll explore the options offered on the File menu. This menu shows us a few different choices for adding and importing photos. Let's take a look at the first one, the Add Folder to Picasa command. That opened the Folder Manager, which is where we can choose viewing options for all the folders on our hard drive. These are Remove from Picasa, which takes all contents of the folder out of the library. Scan Once, which shows the contents at the time of the scan. Scan Always, which constantly scans the selected folder and its subfolders for any updated information or new images, and toggle face detection. Let's leave these options alone and look at some more ways to add images. Let's go back to the File menu and look at how to add individual images by using the Add File to Picasa command. From here, we can search through the files on our computer and simply select whichever one we'd like to view in Picasa. One caution to adding files this way is if you choose a file in a folder that contains other images, Picasa will automatically add that folder to its viewing list. Let's close this dialog box for now. Adding images that are already on your hard drive is easy. But Picasa also offers ways to take images from an external device and import them to your computer. We could use the Import From command on the File menu, but the Import button is faster. The Import tab that opens has a drop-down list with options of where to import pictures from. You can choose a folder from here, but this is also where you will see the devices connected to your computer. For example, if you have a digital camera and a webcam connected, they will be available in this drop-down list. Let's see the choices that our computer has available. This shows us the import options available on our computer. We've attached a digital camera, which is showing up as the eDrive. Let's choose that option to begin importing the images from our camera to our computer's hard drive. All the pictures on our device appear on the left side of the tab, and a large view appears on the right. We could use the buttons under the large image view to rotate the image or to exclude any we don't want to add, but let's choose to import them all. The choices for the import destination are at the bottom of the window. Let's leave the default location of my pictures, but choose a new folder title. First, we need to see the options available. Let's choose to name the folder based on the date the images were taken. We could make selections from the After Copying list box to remove the files from the camera after the import process is complete. We could even upload them to Picasa Web Albums. But let's leave the rest of the settings alone and simply choose to import all the images. The import process has been completed and the pictures have been placed into two folders based on the dates the images were taken, which is what we specified. That was certainly an easy process. With Picasa's flexibility, we know that we can make adjustments later on if we need to.